So if one is happy, they are helping. If they are angry, they are not helping. That's what you say?
she had different opinion about madrasis. Yeah. <laughs> then she changed her opinion about madrasis. The doctor was also madrasi. The doctor is madrasi. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the doctor was also madrasi. So you can say yeah. the madrasi doctor is good. <laughs> <laughs> Now, just because that Malasi boy came and had the role in does she agree that the her girl, uh, the granddaughter, uh, can uh, run away with this Malasi? Is it, is it to be understood like that? Yeah, it's not to be understood like that, but you can understand it. You know, like that. That if it had been, if it had been a Gujarati boy who would have come and helped him, that, is it that she would not have allowed him to run away? That Gujarati boy. No, no, she had bad views about her. She had bad views. Why did she change her opinion about her? So that, if you want to connect it up to what we have been discussing, her assumption about Madrasi was one assumption, so therefore her interaction was one way. As soon as that assumption was significantly changed, then her you know, interaction changed, and recognition and fulfillment changed. Yeah. Yeah. So you can say some relation, responsibility in relationship. Yeah. And uh, yeah. your point was two sets of reasons. Yeah. One is yeah. 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 He was responsible in one relationship to that person who was hurt, but was he equally responsible in his relationship with this girl? So he was responsible in that one relationship, but he thought it was Yeah. Yes. Uh, I would say outside a little negative, but the way I saw it, the video I think conveyed the, uh, mo the moral of the story for me was no matter what you do, whether you do good to someone or whether you're bad to someone, someone is um, always going to end up unhappy in the end. Because uh, <laughs> complete happiness is never ensured. Right? <laughs> yeah. What we need to understand from this, I think, what we can draw your attention to. Okay, before I go there, let me ask you <laughs> this question. How does it relate to your own living? How does it relate to your own living? What they showed is correct. If you are in a bad mood, you pass on the bad mood. No, no, no. About yourself. Don't tell me about me. Yeah, I have a slight I have a slight idea. 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 I have a slight
uh, even our program of action is based on excitement, <laughs> then we can not at all sustain the happiness. Because uh, whatever the happiness that we seen in the video was not happiness, but it's just um, merely based on excitement. Yeah, looks like Everyone excitement. seemed excited, but there was no uh, happiness in it. For example, the, 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 the mother, uh, after her son refusing her food, she goes back and then, you know, with a bad mood, she's scolding her that uh, uh, that mate or where she is. She could actually go uh, go on and then scold her before also. Why after her mood has changed? <laughs> Likewise, the, the, the one office goer, he could have granted the permission to his driver before us. Why after? Because his daughter made him happy and why? Particularly on that occasion, he has to give the, uh, this, the leave. Why he has to come? This is all about how we program our activities, how we program, our, how we set our mind. Because of the situation, only happiness is coming. Not for suddenly the happiness is start arising. What he's saying is it is not happiness, it is excitement. Because of this situation, there is no happiness. Because of the situation, there is only excitement. Situation is based on excitement. Excitement and in the other case, it is showing some anger, some bad mood. So what we can you know, try to pay attention to is that this behavior, whether I am in excited state or I am in some irritated state, I am passing it on like somebody said, chain reaction. I'm just passing it on, like you said. So, what we can try to understand is what is the meaning of reaction, what is response. What do you think? In this video, they have shown what the behavior So what do you think? In this video, whether they showed people in excitement or in this anger, irritation, were they, they behaving like this or like this? Hmm? Uh, it was reactive behavior. What do you think? This reactive behavior is definite or indefinite? It is always going to be indefinite. What about this? If my behavior is dependent on my understanding of trust, of respect, and I have those feelings of trust and respect in myself, and my behavior is governed by that, what do you think? That will be 
Definite or indefinite? Definite. What do you think? In this video they showed this kind of behavior or this kind of behavior? Reaction. Reaction. <coughs> Reaction. Reactive behavior. This is responsible behavior. When the doctor is going to meet her, he's outside and take on the day. He is very responsible behavior. That was more like responsive behavior. If I have right understanding and right feeling, will I have reactive behavior with some and responsive behavior with others? Or I will have responsive behavior with all? So we have to see. So anyway, we keep the doctor and say, okay, he's on this side, fine. <laughs> okay. So we can see this. So if I was to put it in sort of simple words, you know, this looks like So what do you think? In this kind of behavior, in reactive behavior, who has your remote control? And in this case, you have your remote control with yourself. So in this case, you can see, you know, this mother, as soon as her son didn't eat, press the button and then she goes and she presses that button for her maid. Her maid can't or she tries to answer back. She is, you know, the maid, she is not able to answer back much. She goes home and what does she do? She presses the same button for her daughter and so on. That is what is happening over here. And you can see this is what is happening. And we have paid attention and understood and we have definiteness in our understanding. Over here, what do you think? They are able to see that the other is excited, that is why they are doing something. Like, like for example, that girl's father, and he gives the holiday to the driver. Was he able to see that his daughter was excited, that is why her behavior was like this, or he was not able to see that? And that is why he also gets into the same excitement. Maybe he was normal and then he got excited because so we can see you know, that when we are in this kind of state, we are just passing that on. It's like an electrical line. If you don't hear the switch, it goes to you. If I am on, then you are on. Then passing on. Then when I try to switch on here, then everyone goes on. <laughs> Yeah, this works like that. So this is that chain kind of thing. <coughs> so the chain can be you know, something like this or it can be like this. So it keeps on going like that. What about this one? <laughs> if somebody has reactive behavior and I am responsive, so if somebody comes up with some very excitement, then my interaction with that person is going to be what? Fulfilling for me and for him or anything else? 
it's going to be fulfilling for both. So this person will come back into their normal self. So I, I don't know, they can put normal for it. Yeah? Then this person, next person will become normal and so on. If somebody comes in a bad mood and comes to somebody who is responsive, then normal. Yeah. We can actually observe that each of us has a part like this and also acceptance for this. You want to be like this or like this? You want to be reactive or responsive? Or natural acceptance is responsive. You can actually observe it in very small children. A child is crying, small child is crying, two years, three year old child is crying. What do people around him try to do? The child is crying. Sorry. The child is crying. What do people around him try to do? <laughs> but what is their intention? I mean, they might use something like that, but what is their intention for the child to continue to cry? or to help him to find, to stop crying, to come to normal state. That is our acceptance. Our acceptance is to come to this state. What about our living, day-to-day -day living? We can find out in our day-to-day -day interaction with people, what is our state of being, you know, how much time we are you know, reacting and how much time we are Response. Each one of us can see for ourselves and find out where we want to be. We can do our own evaluation and find out. So whatever we have understood about trust, we can actually see that in this case, what is actually happening is that there is Out on intention. Right. And you can see it more clearly when you know, they are in this state. In this state you don't know. You know, you are not able to see it very clearly. But in this state you are able to see it clearly. There is doubt on intention. And because there is doubt on intention, then I get excited or angry or even excited. And then I stop there. Whereas if I understand I am trusting, I have understood trust. And there is no doubt on intention. There is trust on intention. Then what do I try to do? Two things that I do. One is Responsibly with the other. My behavior is satisfying for me and for the other. That is why I can you know, do this. I also know that the other may or expect.